guys. So today we're gonna to talk about the Chinese New Year. And I know y'all been talking about it in music a little bit. The end of the Chinese New Year is coming up. It's celebrated on, this year on February 26th. It's celebrated on the 15th day of the brand new month in the Chinese calendar. And that year, that this year is gonna be February 26th. So they commemorate that day with a big light festival and people make lanterns, they buy lanterns, they're very decorative, they mean um, wish for prosperity and health for the upcoming new year. Sometimes they do it in memory of someone that maybe they lost this year. Um, it goes way, way, way back. Um, the legend is, I wanna read this to you because it's really kind of cool. Um, it says, the legend has it that long ago, many ferocious animals and birds greatly affected the lives and safety of local populations. To protect themselves, people killed many of these wild animals. One day, a sacred bird from heaven accidentally lost itself and fell into the mortal world. However, a hunter who did not know its origin killed him. The emperor of heaven, very angry, ordered his soldiers to set a fire and burn everything on the 15th day of the first month. The daughter of the Emperor of Heaven, who did not want this to happen, secretly went to the mortal world and informed the people of the plan of destruction. That's how an old man came upon with an idea. He asked each family to light lanterns or fireworks for three days before the promised punishment. When the Emperor of Heaven observed the world, he saw the fire from everywhere and thought that man had been sufficiently punished, sparing him from further disasters. Since then, lanterns and fireworks have been lit every year on the same date to celebrate this victory. So that's the legend of the Chinese lanterns and how they celebrate their Chinese New Year. Um, I think it's really interesting to learn about other cultures and how they celebrate things and why they celebrate things. Um, some people call these myths. Um, I like the idea of them being legends passed down from generation to generation. And I think it's really cool that they still celebrate that today. Um, so we are going to create our own version of a Chinese lantern since we're here in February and it's closing in on the Chinese New Year. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so all you need is a piece of paper. You, if you have watercolor paints, great, you can use those, but if you don't, you can use regular markers that are washable. And we're gonna use water. And if you have a paintbrush, great. If not, use a Q-tip, all right? Cause that will smear the marker. And I'm about to show you how to make it. So go gather your supplies and come right back. Use your markers to create a design all over the page. If you have watercolor paint, you can use those to create your design. Don't be afraid to overlap and fill in white spaces. Once you're happy with the design, use water and a paintbrush or a Q-tip to smear the marker. Once your paper is dry, you're gonna turn it landscape. Okay, so this is portrait, this is landscape, and we're gonna fold it. We're gonna match our corners up, like so. Squish it in the middle out to the edges, okay? So this is my open edge. This is my fold. Up near the open edge, up here, I wanna draw a line all the way across. Now, if you have a ruler, you can use a ruler. If you don't, just find something that's got a straight edge. Like I'm using part of a cereal box, okay? I'm gonna leave about this much, that's about an inch, and I'm gonna draw a line across. And I'm drawing on the side that I did not paint on. And it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? So I did it on the open edge, on the side I did not paint on. And I'm gonna take my scissors, and I'm gonna start cutting from the fold, not the open edge, from the fold. Where am I gonna cut it? From the fold. Everybody say that, from the fold. And I'm gonna stop when I get to the line. I'm gonna pick my paper up and I'm gonna cut about an inch wide and I'm gonna stop when I get to that line. And I'm 
gonna do that all the way across. Try to make your cuts even. So all my strips should be right about the same size. Last one's always a little bit smaller. Okay, then I'm gonna open it back up. I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna fold it around. Okay, you know what we need to do? We need to fold it this way. So that when we fold it, billows out like so okay and we're gonna glue these two edges together little dots of glue if you have a glue stick you can use that if you have a stapler you can use that but look you don't need a whole lot of glue people that's all the glue you need all the glue in the world put your ends together your ends together and if you'll sit patiently and hold it I don't know talk to somebody about the weather watch a cartoon chill for a minute and I'm holding my glue dots I'm just holding them I'm just holding them just hold them and I'm being very patient and they're gonna stick together okay that's how you glue something together okay all right so what your glue is dry. You're gonna need some ribbon. And you need one piece that's about mm, 12 inches long. And then you just need a variety of ribbons. Doesn't matter how long they are, doesn't matter what color they are, doesn't matter how many you have. Um, and you also need some scotch tape. You can also use a stapler if you have it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the shortest ribbon and we're gonna put it on the inside of our lantern, like so. And we're gonna tape it down. Okay, so just put some tape right across it, tape it down. And then I'm gonna take the other end, go right across from it, Another piece of tape. Put that right across the ribbon. Tape it down. So now I've got something to hang my lantern from. And all the other ribbon that I cut, I'm going to take it, I'm going to fold it in half. Take a piece of tape, put it right in the middle, just like that, so you can see, right in the middle. And underneath, in the bottom part, I'm gonna go in, and I'm just gonna tape the ribbon so that it hangs out like that. Again, take my ribbon, fold it in half, find the middle, put the sticky side of the tape in the middle, Side, tape it. So all this pretty ribbon's gonna be coming out the bottom, making it very, very decorative. Again, they use these lanterns for celebration. So the more decorative you make it, the better. You can use all different size ribbons, short, long, doesn't matter. Use curling ribbon, like if you have some laying around the house, like you wrap gifts with. You could use embroidery thread if you have somebody in the house that embroideries. Get creative. You can even shred up paper and use that too. Okay. So once it's finished, you've got 
the Chinese lantern that you can hang up in your room and celebrate the Chinese New Year. And in some celebrations, they take a tag, like a piece of paper, and they write out a wish or a prayer for a person, even just a person's name, and they tie it to one of these strings to hang down for the celebration. So if you've got something going on or you've got a special wish or um, a hope or a dream for the new year, you could do that too and just attach it to the bottom. So I hope you enjoyed making these. I hope you um, celebrate the Chinese New Year and what it means. And I can't wait to see your creations. Take a picture of it and send it to me.